Welcome back to the top news channel RF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. In this video we will have the following main content. 1. Harry and Meghan panic in the face of the Queen's neglect. 2. Harry and Meghan burst into flames with Prince William's speech at COP26. Harry and Meghan panic in the face of the Queen's neglect. As William was hailed by the Queen, the Sussex's climate proposal was welcomed with silence. The Queen's official Twitter account has been silent on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's climate campaign while Prince William and Prince Charles' work at COP26 was promoted. The Queen was not interested in Harry and Meghan. In the recent speech caused many wonderful reactions. One of them said, I thought the Queen's speech was brilliant what a great woman she is, even though I've been annoyed at the royals for not dealing with the two pretend saviours of the world, I see slow and steady wins the race. Many others also said, William and Catherine rubbing shoulders with world leaders, looking fabulous and influencing global events with wise words and example. A true power couple on an international stage. Others also expressed, I watched the Queen's video speech on the news last night, I felt proud to be British. Some might laugh, call me silly, or overly sentimental, I don't really care. The Queen might have been under the weather recently, given the past year, she has my enduring respect. Of course, she will have pride in William and Charles, they display continued respect for her position. Why question the exclusion of Harry, he has excluded himself, spewed forth unsubstantiated allegations about the monarchy and therefore the nation, shown himself to be treacherous and deeply hurtful. Best ignored, the Queen is spot on. On the other hand, after opponents accused them of hypocrisy for lecturing about the environment while travelling around on jet planes, Meghan and Harry committed through their organisation Archul to become carbon neutral by 2030. The Queen, on the other hand, has yet to accept this vow. An official Royal Family Twitter account acknowledged the Prince William's work with the winners of his Earthshot Prize at COP26 this morning. And you, what do you think about this issue? Let us know below this video. Harry and Meghan burst into flames with Prince William's speech at COP26. After lecturing world leaders about climate change while flying in private aircraft, Prince William prompted a backlash. In this speech, he clarified and fiercely criticised the leaders who have private jets, including Harry and Meghan. This morning, the heir apparent to the throne made a speech at the Glasgow conference in which he urged the world to make the impossible possible. In addition, he recently introduced the Earthshot Prize, a reward for environmental advocates. However, the prince has already been accused of hypocrisy for flying in a private plane. On the other hand, Prince William and his wife the Duchess of Cambridge travelled to Scotland for COP26 by train, and transferred from the train to an electric car. So, no private jet. When the Cambridge family goes on holiday, they fly commercial. So, again, no private plane. While he has used a private plane on occasion, it is a rare occasion. His younger brother, on the other hand, flies almost exclusively by private plane including a recentish trip to play polo with his mates three US states over from his mansion in the California hills. So, Prince William uses private planes rarely, perhaps once or twice a year. His younger brother monthly uses private planes on a near basis. I can see from my wee corner of the kingdom which, Royal is walking the walk whilst talking the talk, and it isn't the younger brother. In one review said, isn't all life carbon based? My question is has any one of these eco-zealots done a study to assess the effect on all living things if carbon dioxide falls below what is needed to sustain life? This is a genuine question as we are being told too much CO2 is bad so I imagine not enough would be worse. In another development, Prince Charles, another frequent traveller, encouraging world leaders the day before to act to avert the coming climate calamity. The exceptional winners and finalists of the Duke of Cambridge's Earthshot Prize were announced at the conference this afternoon. 